like your style Put you in Chanel cause it's just perfect for your smile Girl I swear for you I'd run the world, I'd run the miles The way you look at me I think I'm going insane What's up you guys? What is going on and welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another rugby update video. This microphone is broken. I need a new one. So I really apologize if this audio is not up to standard, but I'm gonna do my absolute very best. Guys, it's Saturday. It's game day, baby. And um, you know, I, I, I'd feel really disappointed if I played this week's game, which is week number five, without first giving my update, giving my match report, on week number four. You guys know I'm absolutely loving this. I'm feeling really passionate about the sport again. Um, I'm loving playing back here in Christchurch. And uh, well, today we're playing a team, Sydney. We're playing in Sydney. It's an away game. This is our third away game in a row. We've got four until we're back at the Sacred Acre, the Littleton Recreation Ground for another home game in week number seven, I believe. So anyways, guys, last week we played Linwood. It was Littleton versus Linwood. And um, I didn't know this at the time, but we actually played on one of the premier fields in Canterbury or in Christchurch. So if any, um, I guess, you know, non-professional rugby is going to be televised in, in Christchurch and it's not at the actual professional rugby stadium, which is called Canterbury Stadium, um, they normally play on this field. I'd never played there before. I had no idea where it was, never seen it before. But let me tell you, what an absolutely stunning ground to play on. And we had some fantastic weather as well. But it had been raining throughout the week, so there were still patches on the park that were quite boggy. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, I remember pulling up there, I saw the field. It's, uh, it's purpose built, you know, there's some really nice club rooms there. Blue Sky was out. Funnily enough, after our game, they were actually staging a, a Christchurch first 15 game. So I was actually unaware of all this, but I learned it on the day that uh, all of the Christchurch secondary schools have first 15s of course and they play on a Saturday as well as the other divisions so so that makes me remember back to when I was playing you know my only I guess senior first team sport um, at Kashmir High School and that was basketball and we did play on Saturdays so it makes sense so they play on Saturdays and that game was after ours and it was televised as well so it was a really cool atmosphere you know they, they had you know, these, these school these school boys piling in, they were watching us warm up. They watched, you know, the first half of our game before they had to go and get ready for their game. Um, and the atmosphere was just there. So it was sweet. Right up until I had to take my first kick at goal. First kick at goal for the year, guys. So before the game, I got told literally the morning of the game, look, Jake, we, 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 look, uh, I've got a question, Jake, 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 Jake. Do you want to be kicker? So I had a decision to make, a two minute decision whether I was going to put my hand up and say, yep, I'll do it, or let my nerves take the better of me and say, nah, not this week. In the end, I said, right, I'm going to take the challenge. I was kicker for the first half of the game. Now that, <laughs> that, uh, that was pretty surreal because my last year in 2003, which I just actually found my team photo for, and I'll show you guys that in good time. But in that year, I was the kicker. And I remember times throughout that year, you know, really being down in the dumps about missing a few kicks on the weekend. And, and then the, the next week would come along and, you know, my nerves would just be on another level. You know what I mean? Until you hit a nice kick straight and true and then you're all good. But, uh, well, <sighs> look, I got one out of three. Let me say that. So I did get my name on the score sheet. I've officially scored two points this season. That was a conversion. But... Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> shit, let me think, let me think. This is my match report from the first half of our week four matchup against Linwood. I only played the first half, uh, it was the first game that I've actually been taken off and that was absolutely fine because, you know, once again, I got a massive hit. I got hit fucking hard, right? As a tackler, I was going in for the tackle, he comes in, he gives me a massive bump and um, this was in the first half and I got flattened. I got absolutely steamrolled, I think. I went in for a tackle, I went into the hips, drive the shoulder into the hip, the crease of the hip, but he's come down and sort of brought that arm down and sort of given me a real big bump, right? So basically what happened was, he almost broke my fucking collarbone. And um, this was probably the most scary moment of the season so far. 
And the reason is because I went in for a tackle and, you know, in that split second of doing that, you feel the contact. Usually it's a, it's a solid contact, but you don't feel any like sharp pains or anything. Unfortunately, this time I did. So I went in, took the hit, instantly felt this massive like shock wave go throughout my entire body. He's obviously crunched something in my shoulder. And they, I guess they, they call this a stinger, right? It certainly stung, but it was also fucking paralyzed. So I was lying on the ground, unable to actually lift my arm for about five seconds. And I went into panic mode, big time panic mode. I thought, holy shit, I've just paralyzed myself. What the fuck? I got dumped on my head the week before and I've almost paralyzed myself this week. No, look, it wasn't that serious. After five seconds, the movement started coming back. But I tell you what, that night when I was lying on my bed, I couldn't, I, I couldn't lay on that side for about three days. And to be honest, it's still a little bit sore now. So what that tells me is that rugby is a rough game. It also tells me that I probably need to work on my technique and probably need to take that first step into the tackle before hitting them with the, the shoulder. That first step is going to give you your balance. It's going to give you your power. And I definitely didn't do that. I was, I was, I was completely square with them. And so, you know, when you're trying to, it doesn't matter how fast your feet are, when you're, when you're square with someone and they just bowl straight over you, I mean, you know, he could have tried to step, but he, he went straight into me. It's a fucking classic, run it straight moment. And look, I've got to say, I, I, I unfortunately came out worse off. But that's rugby. So that was the first moment of the game for me. A uh, couple of other moments, I probably, I probably had about two or three tackles. Certainly wasn't the seven or eight of last week. As a back line, we really surfed across the field and, and you know, covered their backline when they had the ball quite well. They didn't spin it out too much. They do like to you know, go all the way one way and then go all the way back the other way and go all the way back the other way. So for us as defenders, as a line, we really needed to you know, mark up, we needed to communicate, and we needed to surf across the field and not commit to a tackle to then allow someone on the outside, which I did the week before. So I was, I was extremely careful not to do that and I'm happy to say we didn't. So we contained them pretty well. Uh, lack of discipline in the first half, gave away three penalties. They kicked all three, it was 9-0. Uh, then we scored a try, and this is where my first kick happened. So we scored a try, and um, look, all I can say is that I was praying to the heavens, praying to the God, whatever God there is out there, that if you're going to score a try, boys, please bring it under the posts so I've got an easy kick. Well, no, that certainly didn't happen. They scored it two metres from the sideline. So my first kick of the season, my first kick of the day, I didn't take any practice kicks before the game, which is fucking stupid. But my first kick of the day was two metres in from the sideline. Probably about a 45 metre kick and, um, well, I didn't get it. But I got a photo. And the photo from that kick, I'm going to put up right now. I had no idea the photographer was going to be there, uh, but he was, and he captured that. Second moment of the game for me was a penalty kick. We got a penalty probably about 30 metres out, slightly to the left of the posts. And, um, you know, Skip gets the penalty call. He starts looking around. What are we going to do? He goes, no, nah, we're going to... We're going to go for, you know, after I miss that first kick, he's like, nah, we're going to go for touch. Then I step up. I say, skip. Skip, mate. I can nail this. I can do this. Let me have a go. And so he did. And what happened? I fucking missed. I fucking missed. But, <laughs> once again, we got a nice photo. And that photo I'm going to show to you right now. So we got two photos, uh, two missed kicks, possibly a broken collarbone but it's not, and uh, well, a couple of tackles. The only time I actually touched the ball, I only touched the ball once, once, was uh, when they kicked the ball back, I was playing wing, I dropped back, got the ball, within my 22, I should have kicked it, right? I should have turned around and booted the shit out of it and tried to get some, 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 tried to get some territory, kick the ball out, it's within my 22 when I received it, so that means I can kick the ball out on the full. At that point, I was so frustrated because I hadn't had the ball in my hands. I wanted to run. I thought, probably about five minutes before that happened, I said, nah, you know what? Next time I get the ball, I'm not going to kick it. I'm going to run. Hoping that I make a line break and do something good. Well, look, man, the, the game went from bad to worse, to be fair. I turned around. I considered kicking it. I had about 10 meters in front of me. I thought, nah, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to run. People were yelling out to me, kick it. Whilst I was running into the line, I was yelling back to them. No, I'm not going to kick. I literally yelled that out, man. It was fucking, oh my God, bro. I was, that was a bit of a brain fade moment. I should have stayed calm 
and I certainly did not. I ran into the defence, I got isolated, and I turned the ball over. So really guys, the first half was absolutely fucking shock, in my opinion, and I wasn't happy with it. But there was one moment, one, you know, I guess uh, face-saving moment, you could say. And at the end of the day, guys, I'm saying all this shit, I'm getting really passionate about it, getting really disappointed about it, but the fact is, is that everyone on that field, every single player, is feeling the exact same thing. You know, we're all... We're all, we're all concerned about our own game. We're really not concerned about the mistakes that anyone else makes. Unless you're a real dickhead. And I'm certainly not like that anymore. But, you know, I wanted to... Oh, fuck, I wanted to play well. It was a fantastic field. You know, big crowd. Great day. It's like, this is the day, man. This is the day we're going to ball out. But it didn't happen. So, I actually talked to the coach. I said, my shoulder's not that good. Um, and he pulled me off at half time. But right before half time, we scored a try. And we scored another try. The fullback... Broke a couple of tackles, I was in support, right, about 20 metres out from the line, we've got one more defender to beat, or two more, he dummies that defender, the defender goes towards me, he gets past him, I continue to run in support, he's got one defender to beat, he should have given the pass, right, which, which would have been my try, uh, but he didn't, he kept it again, gave him another dummy, fair enough, kept it, and scored, thank God, under the posts. So the final play of the half, and the final play of my game was knocking over a gimme conversion kick from right in front and that's how we finished the half I came off and I guess you know if that hadn't have happened I would have felt real shit and if I had not missed that holy shit I probably wouldn't have gone back but uh, we got it so I scored two points uh, the team came back extremely well fuck we've got a good squad uh, we came back from 9-0 down to win 38 points to 9 I believe we scored six tries and got four conversions. And with that being said, guys, that was my match report. I really hope you enjoyed it. I tried to make it as in-depth and entertaining as possible. And I'll tell you what, today's game day. We've got our week five matchup against Sydenham, the old rival. It's 8.49 in the morning on Saturday, the 18th of July. And guys, I wanna say have a fantastic day, train hard, eat well, and I'll see you on the next one. Yes, that's what I used to say back in the day when this channel was bodybuilding related only. And, uh, you know, I don't mind saying it. Train hard, eat well, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys. Have a great day.